probably bring in right now the Deputy Ranking Education Committee. Um, he also has been very involved in this, and I know yesterday there were moves at the committee level to try and get the parties into a meeting in Parliament today. Uh, Dr. Clementa Park, did this meeting happen? Well, Evans, let me say good evening to you too, uh, as well as my, my co-panelists. And of course, it's an election year, so I must greet the people of uh, Butsa South. <laughs> uh, the short answer is no. Whilst, whilst we, we had made uh, arrangements and uh, written to uh, CITAG and GTEC, uh, which was the outcome of a committee of the whole called by the speaker as a result of a motion that I moved in making a statement on the floor of parliament calling attention to this rather prolonged strike, which is bound to affect the academic calendar and to affect the progress of the students. Mm. Uh, parliament decided that we engage the feuding parties, so to speak. After we had communicated the intent of parliament to meet with CTAG and GTEC, we got information to the effect that the Minister for Education, who himself was there in Parliament, and the Minister for Labour, to brief the House on the impasse, as well as steps that the two ministries, and for that matter, government was taking to try and resolve it, had also then written, inviting CTAG, uh, of course, Prinkov, and um, GTEC for a meeting today. So in the wisdom of the committee, we felt that we should stay off or at least suspend our meeting, allow the sector minister to engage with his agency, GTEC, as well as the principals of the colleges of education and CETA. Based on the outcome of that meeting, we as a committee would then make a determination as to whether it is still necessary for us to invite CTAG and GTEC 